We are going to do a review of Squarespace versus Framer, which they have a lot to compete with. Some of you may love Framer, some of you may love Squarespace. But in this video, I'm going to give you my background, someone who's built over 200 websites on Squarespace and over 20 on Framer. Answer may surprise you in terms of what site builder I think is the best for you. Stay tuned and let's get into the video. Now, basically what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna give you questions to answer as you go through the process, which will help you decide on which tool to use. So we'll probably cover around three to four core questions and things you wanna consider in terms of your needs that are gonna be really important in the site that you build. And we're gonna do this as we take a look at what Framer has on their site when they say versus Squarespace, the difference is we'll take a look here and really get an understanding and I'll tell you where they're telling the truth or lying about the differences here. All right. So they have this comparison on their website that we want to take a look at from design flexibility, speed, SEO, CMS, interactivity, collabs, publishing, pricing, all of that we're going to cover. All right. And if you're thinking about getting started on either platform, I have links down below with coupon codes for both tools to save you on your first year subscription. I'm going to start with a very important one first. We're going to talk about pricing. Usually we save that to the end of the video, but I want to start with that. I think their pricing for their website experience is very similar and comparable. You could take a look at both of them and honestly, they're probably really close in pricing. The one thing you need to consider is that if you will have multiple editors, this is something I absolutely dread about Framer. Most small businesses do need at least two to three people to have access to their site. With Framer, you need to pay a monthly fee for every one of those editors whether they log in or not. With Squarespace, you have the ability to have unlimited editors on your site for no additional fee. We're talking about every new editor is about $20 a month. So if you have three people on your site that are added to the main person, you are now paying an extra $60 a month on top of, let's say $20 a month for your actual site plan. So now your website is $80 a month, which comes out to $1,000 a year versus being $240 a a year. That is a pretty big difference just to include additional editors. So the question to ask is, will you need multiple editors and are you flexible with the amount you're spending each year just to have those editors? If spending a thousand dollars to have those editors each year is fine and that's not a big deal, then sure, Framer works great. But if you are really considering having multiple editors and you don't want to try to share a login and get a complicated, but if you are considering having multiple editors and you don't want to pay that extra extra six to seven hundred dollars a year, it is worth considering Squarespace. The next thing we want to talk about, I think is just as important, which is going to be design. When you take a look at Framer's templates or Squarespace's templates, are you happy? Are you excited about your website? Now, I know if you look at both of them, you might see Framer and see a lot more interactivity that feels really delightful and something that is like, I really want that for my website, which I highly recommend. But you have to make a very clear decision how important that is. If that is monumental, Framer is going to be your go to when it comes to animations and that interactivity and just a beautiful experience framer is going to have way more options for you versus squarespace squarespace has some great basic options but framer is going to give you every option under the sun now the con of this is that you have to build everything from scratch you can use a template you can use components but you are really going to have to do the hard work of understanding how frames work stacks work how you place items into a stack how you then optimize it for mobile you got to do a lot of learning in that sense to be able to get what you want with Framer. It does offer more opportunity. And if that's what you're looking for, if you say, I really need design and interactivity to be very flexible, Framer is your way to go. On the flip side, if you look at Squarespace's templates and you're like, honestly, these are beautiful. Let me customize the color and the fonts and add my own content and I'll be really happy. Well, Squarespace is going to be a great option for you. So I do see here when they say what this means for you build websites without restriction no template constraints yes that's true but you also have to create everything from scratch and one of the hardest things is creating a navigation or a footer you're spending so much time trying to do something that is honestly very basic with framer if you understand it it's really easy if you copy someone else's it's really easy but if you want to design your own it could be a little bit cumbersome to learn that and you might get frustrated quickly while you're in framer especially if it's your first 
first go at it. Now, if you want more Framer resources or you are getting started with Framer, definitely check out that link down below because first you'll get a discount for your subscription, but number two, I also have resources for you to build a beautiful Framer site fast. Now let's talk about speed and performance. As you can see on their website right here, they say optimize for core web vitals where Squarespace can be slow, lack performance optimization. And so you'll have faster load times and better rankings. Let's take a look at this. Let's just start with something simple. So I went to PageSpeed Insights, added in Framer. You'll see here on mobile, they failed core web vitals on their own website and desktop they did pass. Same thing with Squarespace here. They did fail on their mobile and they did pass on desktop. As I take a look here, 1.2, 59 milliseconds, 0, 1.1, and 0.7, those are really good numbers. And honestly, these are very comparable. I don't see a lot of difference here. Now, let's take a look a little bit deeper. Now, we're back on Framer side for desktop, and you'll see performance is 80, accessibility 95, best practice 96, and SEO 85. These are really good for a website builder out of the box. Squarespace here, a little bit lower, 72 here. Accessibility is 100. Best practices is 70 but seo is 92 right here again we could have a bigger conversation about like what do these numbers even mean but generally you'll see they are kind of comparable and i know i'm looking at their home pages so the way i would test this is if you're about to buy a template on framer or use a template with squarespace go use that url and drop it into here and see how it performs this to me is not the make or break now they make it seem here as if it is way better but the reality reality is this, the one thing that Framer has over Squarespace is going to be Core Web Vitals. Core Web Vitals are really important for SEO and so if you are trying to optimize at a high level for SEO, which means if people are going to search things outside of your brand name, say you are a graphic designer and you use your name, for example David Alex, if people are going to be searching for general graphic designers and they're going to be looking for work like yours without knowing your name and you want to show up for search, then this is going to be more important. But if all you're trying to optimize for is your brand name as a core fundamental, Squarespace or Framer are gonna do great. So the question is here, if you are trying to show up for a lot of organic search, Framer is gonna be a lot better for you long-term than Squarespace. They both work great. I've done a ton of SEO projects on Squarespace, but if you're really gonna get into the nitty gritty, especially if you are launching a blog, Framer is gonna be a much better option for you. Which leads us to the next question, which is gonna be around the CMS. All right, this is a big thing. It's really important to talk about and it is very different on both platforms. When it comes to a CMS, a CMS is a content management system. This could be for your portfolio. This could be for your blog. Anything that manages content in a structured way that has certain properties that go against every single item in that database. So for example, blog has a title, it has an author, it has a blog post content, it has a header image, it may potentially have like tags and other things. All those elements are part of a CMS. And so with Squarespace, you have no way to customize the CMS. With Framer, you could build any type of CMS you want from scratch. Now this is really important and valuable if let's say you have your portfolio that you want to show off a very specific way. So for example, if you have a portfolio and you're going to have a project title and you're gonna have a project date and you're gonna have certain project details the three emotions that go with the project then you're gonna have a header image and a header video for that project you're also gonna have the content for that project and then you need to include seven specific images for that project well you could build a CMS that matches exactly the way you want it to show up and then you could build components on your website to show off that information however you like now that's really important important because it's going to give you so much more design flexibility and scalability when it comes to how you build your CMS, your portfolio, your blog, whatever it may be on your site. With Squarespace, you have pre-built CMSs that you cannot customize. You have the blog, you have store, this is for e-commerce, you have portfolio, but this is very limited in terms of what I've been describing. Next, you have events, you also have videos, and you have courses. All of these are different 
structures for you that really depend on what you need. So for example, out of the box, if you really need something custom for your portfolio and what Squarespace offers is just very limited, you may be better off on Framer. But let's say you wanna build out courses and you don't wanna overthink all the steps of trying to build out every single component for a course, Squarespace has it pre-built for you. You don't get that in Framer. You have to think through every aspect of building out a course, how you have interactivity between every page and video and an element on that course to go to the next lesson or whatever that might be. Where here, it's already pre-built for you. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Now, with all of this said, you may begin to really see the differences. With Framer, everything is from scratch. And so you do get a lot more control, but you do have to build everything from the ground up. With Squarespace, you have a lot of stuff that is pre-built. If you want to end up customizing it, you may need to write custom code or you may just be limited to what they give you out of the box. So yes, when I look at this chart here, the fully integrated visual CMS is a much better experience if you want to go custom. Next, if you are big on animations, which honestly animations and interaction is huge on a website in 2025, you will want to go with Framer, hands down. There's no question about it. Framer is excellent when it comes to animations and effects where Squarespace has no ability to do anything cool when it comes to animation. They got like five presets that are okay, but they go across your whole website and they just feel kind of generic in terms of the experience. I know they're thinking about adding some stuff, but as of right now when I film this video, Framer beats it by far, no questions asked. And if that is important to you, you already know your answer. Now, the next two things to me are a little bit more minor, but they're worth mentioning. Now, collaborating, if you wanna collaborate real time, kinda of as you see here, two people on the screen at the same time, Framer offers that, Squarespace does not. And so you do not know if someone else is trying to make edits to a page, which leads to the next one, which is publishing. With Squarespace, as soon as you hit save, it goes live, which in some cases is awesome, but if you do need to review with your team, you don't really have a staging area. With Framer, you do have a staging area and so you can build something stage it share it with the team review it collab on it and then publish it when everyone is happy so if you got value from this video definitely use those links down below thank you for watching if you have any questions drop them below and with that i'll see you guys in the next video peace